balls in here. How many kits do we have? Four or seven. Anyways, guys, look at this. We have in the new Olin's cooler kits for the Model 3 and Model Y, as you can see. This is from Olin's, only Olin's. There's a kit out there with Redwood, but this is a kit specifically from Olin's only. You can always expect the highest quality from Olin's. If you guys didn't know, we actually released a few videos in the past, unboxing and first drive impressions on the Redwood Olin's kit, Teen kit, as well as the Mountain Pass Performance kit. So if you guys want to see that, feel free to look through our channel for those. We'll definitely try to do another first drive impression with these and just compare. So we'll see how these stack up with those. All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the road and track coilover kit from Olin's. And this is a solely independent Olin's coilover kit. We're gonna start with the hardware that they provide. It's gonna come with two washers, four replacement bolts for all the top hats. It's gonna come with your regular adjustability that you're used to, and it's also gonna come with a extended version. So if we move on to the spring on the rear, it's very, very well made. Everything is billet machined, very smooth. Clear differences I can tell between the Olin's kit and the Redwood kit is the Redwood kit actually comes with a billet machine base. It's very thick and it's very nice. This you can tell is, is very thin and doesn't really come with a base at all. If we move over to the shocks on the rear, you have a lot of adjustability. Your actual adjustability for uh, your rebound and dampening is that gearing ratio, which is really, really nice. And the clicks are really defined. And I, I like how they did it at the very bottom of where you attach it to the car. So it's actually very easy to adjust. Moving on to the front coilover kit, compared to the Rebel Motorsports kit, this actually comes with a top hat cup which is really, really nice. It's actually gonna make sure that the top hat is sitting flush and very straight when you're installing it. I think that's a really important feature that Olin's caught on compared to most other kits. The Revo Motorsports kit definitely looked a lot better. It had this almost billet piece that was independent and was free flowing. It was very smooth. You know, this one does look very rough. I mean, it definitely looks like it's very purpose built. Revo Motorsports ones is a 32 way adjustable. These are a 20 way adjustable. These retail for 3,200. The Rebel Motorsports retail for about 3,700 bucks. I can't wait to install these and see how these feel and compare them to the uh, Redwood Motorsports in terms of drivability. The new Olin from Olin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not Redwood Olin's, but Olin's. Olin's Olin. Olin's Olin's. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, it feels good. So. All right, we're going to go our regular route, Haywood. That's kind of rough. It's pretty rough, but. It's kind of rough. Oh. We're on four clicks for from both? soft. Oh, four clicks from soft? You know, you know what I'm about to say. We're never going to know until we hit those. The lines. lines. Right here too. There's another one right there. Uh, the the bumps, I'm not that excited about it. I don't really notice much of a difference to be honest with you. Let's go to the lines. The lines, I think the lines is gonna be really the key. So there's these line breaks that are across the road here. You know what, we hear them and feel them. I feel them in the rear though. I don't feel, I feel them, them in the, the front. I feel them in the rear, yeah. yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna do something real quick. Oh, okay. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are oh, we? Let me do something. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> hey, that's really cool how you can literally just pull up and start adjusting it just like this. Oh, you spinning that knob in the bottom? Yeah, that's the adjustment. <laughs> It got softer, Haley. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Haley, yeah. it got a lot softer, bro. Watch, hit this right here. Watch. Oh, yeah. Hit a little, little too deep right there. No. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> oh, it's nice. softer. Nice. It's way nice. softer, dude. Oh, it's way softer. So now it's equal. So now they're both four clicks. Rough. Four clicks from hard. Oh. Not four clicks from soft. 
Oh. That's pretty soft. That's soft. That's, that's soft. nice. It's a lot better. Yeah, it's a lot better. Oh yeah, how would these compare to the Redwood Olds that we've driven both? Honestly, for the money, I don't really notice the difference. So that's just saying something though. I feel like it's pretty similar to the Redwood. Another thing too you have to mention is you don't get that I didn't hear that with the Redwood Oil. I did hear it though, like the second time I drove it and I did hear that it's that fluid, it's that, you know, that hydraulic fluid just being pushed so fast now. Are you sure we don't get that with this kit? We don't. Dude, what's crazy is it's so soft, but there's no roll. There's no body roll. You feel the body roll on that? There's no body roll. So being at $3,200, are these worth it? And how do they stack up to the Redwood kit? First impressions, I think Olin's price is very competitively with Redwoods. You don't get those nice steel forks, but the Olin's are still very heavy duty and nothing to worry about. You have less adjustability, 20 versus 32, but 20 is still a lot and most people will find a setting that's perfect for them and don't need all those options. Redwood does offer a few other coilover kits focused on track and performance, so I can see someone who prioritizes those needs going with the Redwood, but now we're talking upwards of $4,000 for a kit. Some things we really like about this kit over Redwoods is how easy it is to adjust the rear shocks when we want. We literally fine-tuned it in the school parking lot during our test drive. We couldn't do this with the Redwoods. All of this and still being $500 cheaper makes the Olins a pretty solid contender for anyone to consider. Alright guys, that is it for the vlog. Hopefully you like that Olin's kit. Definitely recommend this for any Model 3 or Model Y. We do have a few of these kits in stock, so if you want one, hit us up while supplies last. Our content info is in the description down below. We will see you next time.